Is Wendy's using AI? Find out. Hi. I'm here today to bring you the latest fashion tech news that you need to know. My name is Anina and I'm the CEO of 360 Fashion Network. Before we start, if you want to receive this news roundup regularly then hit that like button and smash that follow as we will be bringing you this news every week to keep you in the know of the top stories we think are important. Alright, first up Wendy's tests an AI chatbot that takes your drive through order. The chatbot will be able to take verbal orders from customers who line up at Wendy's drive through kiosks all with the hope that it will help reduce long wait times. Wendy's worked with Google to build a tailored chatbot on top of the company's existing large language model. This all goes along with Google's push into AI as its cloud unit sells the idea of companies commissioning their own models for different purposes, built on their own data. News Source, The Verge Another piece of news at Explore Habitat, the new mobile metaverse offering free NFT house properties for all. Datchat Incorporated has launched Habitat an open mobile metaverse platform that offers free NFT deeded properties and houses in Genius City Habitat version 1.0, allows users to visit art galleries, explore the town, interact with others take selfies with famous landmarks, customize their properties, and enjoy the experiences. News Source Blockster, next up, Meta begins testing generative AI elements for Facebook and Instagram ads. Meta is testing a new set of tools that use generative AI to create more personalized and engaging ads for Facebook and Instagram. The new tools, which are part of Meta's AI Sandbox project allow advertisers to generate different variations of text, backgrounds, and images for their ads. This gives advertisers more control over the look and feel of their ads and can help them to reach a wider audience. The AI Sandbox project is currently in beta testing with a small group of advertisers. Meta plans to make the tools available to all advertisers in the coming months. News Source, Social Media Today, Another News. Vogue's Weird Bella Hadid AI Photos Get Roasted Vogue Italia has released a series of photos featuring model Bella Hadid that were created using generative AI. The images have been widely criticized on social media for their bizarre and unsettling appearance, with many users questioning the artistic merit of the project. Some critics have also raised concerns about the use of AI to create images of people without their consent or involvement. The project was created in collaboration with artist Ines Alpha and 3D design studio Iconoclast and is part of a wider trend of fashion companies using AI to create virtual models and other digital content. While the use of AI in fashion and art is becoming increasingly common projects like this highlight the need for ethical guidelines around the use of AI in creative industries. News Source, Creative Blog, Next Up. Beauty, Brains, AI and fashion, Miss USA and chemical engineer Morgan Romano empowering girls in STEM. Global digital cognitive strategist Morgan Romano advocates for increased girls' STEM participation. Romano is a chemical engineer in Miss USA hopeful. She established a non-profit, STEM Kingdoms, to provide access to STEM education. Romano is also an artificial intelligence expert, venture capitalist, and innovation CTO. She is the author of several books and contributes to AI studies. News source, Forbes, and that's it for today. If you want to get the full top 10 fashion tech news items of the week check out our new podcast 360 Fashion or go to 360fashion.net slash podcast or search for it on your favorite podcast platform. Don't forget to subscribe so that you won't miss our latest episode. Get to subscribe.